Alright, you're sitting down, you've got some sort of snack ready, and you're about to watch the movie you just recorded. Then you see this. Wait, modified. Format, formatted how? Okay, okay. Uh, to put it simply, uh, formatted worse. It's hard to describe in words, so, uh... You have to see it for yourself. Okay, to show this, we're gonna watch a clip from the 2013 film Olympus Has Fallen. And I'll be playing it in a widescreen aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1. Or, the most common widescreen aspect ratio. Okay, so in terms of the screen, nothing special happened, except for this pretty cool flip. But, if you see this before you watch the movie, then you wouldn't be watching this. Instead, you'd be watching this. Basically, the screen is zoomed in so that the cinematic bars here at the top and bottom aren't seen. I mean, sounds harmless enough, right? I mean, they're just empty parts of the frame anyway. If this footage looks a lot more clunky and migraine causing, that's because it is. Uh, now, this isn't quite as bad when people are just talking, but action scenes really suffer whenever they do this. Plus, the framing doesn't quite look as good either. Here, take a look at this overlay comparison. Everything in the red is the cropped version, and everything in blue is the original widescreen version. It's a lot more obvious when you look at it like this, but it does raise the question of why would anyone want to crop the frame? Uh, well, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, as far as I can tell, it was originally done so that these movies could fit on 4x3 TVs, set a much more box shape, but considering these TVs are far less common than they used to be, it seems as though this is an obsolete practice. Of course, this screen means other things than just the aspect ratio, probably also means the movie has trimmed scenes to center dialogue or actions so that the credits go by super fast, but just so you know, if you're looking for the best experience of a movie, you're going to have to watch it in the theater or buy it on DVD.